there. Welcome to Tia's Table. With mask shortages all over the world, I would like to bring you updates on how to revive a used mask as well as give you ideas on how to make quality masks. Hand hygiene, domestic hygiene and wearing a mask are the three things you can control regarding your own safety in this pandemic. Social distancing is not always within your control if others violate the norms set down during this pandemic. Furthermore, the distance suggested by some governments and some experts is woefully short. In a research paper that you can trace in the link left below, the following actions indicate what distance is needed to be safe. For example, sneezing, 10 to 30 meters, that's 23 to 26 feet. Coughing, 5 to 6 meters, it's about 19 feet. And breathing, 2 meters, which is 7 feet. And I still see people touch the outside of their masks in media images. Even people who work in critical environments drag their masks down to their chins when they talk to the media. And then there is this image that I can't quite shake of a policeman in the UK who wore his mask on the back of his neck. You have to observe good mask hygiene and protocol if you want the benefits of wearing a mask. I will leave a link for you below that discusses new evidence that a mask can contain viral matter on the outside of the mask for up to seven days. Resist the temptation to touch your face or mask. I know it's difficult, but if you did accidentally touch your mask, consider your hands contaminated and wash them. You should consider that we might need to wear masks for perhaps longer than we currently think. A significant number of experts suggest one year or up to 18 months or until a vaccine has been found. So you might want to get used to wearing a mask if that is not part of your preventative routine already. But what to do if there are no masks in your country? First of all, take care of medical personnel who have to go to work. You can stay home. They can't. Secondly, make masks for yourself. Even a washable cloth mask without a filter can protect you between 30 and 50 percent if it is properly made and fitted. Not like some of the atrocities I've seen online and on social media. And of course, it should be properly put on and removed as well, as I've covered in Vlog 3. I've seen various homemade masks that could work in a pinch for shopping or going out amongst other people in an emergency. I will leave a link for you below of one such video. What is important is that such a mask should have some waterproof layer, like a surgical mask has. It is an inferior substitute for the real thing, but these masks can be made with materials you have at home and will protect you better than when wearing nothing. This specific video has one flaw. There's no metal strip on the nose to make it fit better. You can glue, especially if you have a glue gun, a strip of pipe cleaner or these tie bags that you find on bread bags for this purpose because they can bend well. If you don't have elastic at home, you can use regular rubber bands or elastic hair bands for the elastic around your ears. It's important that it fits well. I cannot emphasize strongly enough that wearing some mask is better than wearing no mask, as long as you handle it properly like I've demonstrated in previous videos. A higher grade mask can be made from filter materials that are meant for other users, but that can be appropriated for masks in an emergency, if you know where to find such materials. You can also help medical workers who are unprotected during the pandemic by making these masks for them, if you are a handy person. You can perhaps contact your nearest medical care center and ask if they need your help. You can even start a new movement and look back upon COVID-19 as a time when you contributed towards the safety of frontline and other medical personnel. I'm aware of shortages in most countries in the West and also in my native country, South Africa. What filter material can you use? I'll provide a few links for you below to take note of what materials will upgrade the filtering quality of such a mask. It is important to note that if you have a pleated mask made instead of a flat mask, that will improve the fit of the mask greatly and it will also have an impact on the directional flow of any filter material you might use. Filtering outgoing and incoming air. Some filtering materials are designed specifically for this. Best to watch all these links listed below and combine all the best elements. Now regarding vacuum bags and filters, 
If you are a handy person and you can obtain vacuum bags as demonstrated in these videos below, you can make a high quality mask for healthcare workers or vulnerable people. I'll provide some links below. Now I'd like to present you with some alternative ways for refreshing your mask. Now that there is a shortage of masks in the hard hit Western countries, some sound practical advice has surfaced on the internet and I've studied this carefully for you to save your time. There's also some bad advice out there and you should be cautious. I spend a lot of time daily to stay on top of the latest data and hope that I can help someone stay safe with some of these tips. Now let's look at some temperatures. The link provided below that I encourage you to watch in its totality provides some further scientific data that confirms the temperatures that I described in the previous vlog, I think it was vlog 3, on how to sanitize and reuse a mask. First of all, the oven. The same video also gives some directions on how to sanitize a mask in your oven and I will leave the link for you below. Another method is the 9 day rotation method. This video that I just mentioned furthermore confirms the 9 day rotation method that I discussed in vlog 3, which is the one I now currently use, but I now use a 10 day rotation to be on the safe side and here is how I do it. Alright, so this is our 10 day rotation system. And I thought it might be easier for you if you can see it. First of all, I just, you just need some plastic bags. I bought this at Macro. It's just a simple plastic bag with a little loop. But you can take a Ziploc and you can punch a hole in it. And the idea is that you hang it like this over a hanger. Now, this is day one. I wore one mask. But if you look at day three, I wore three different masks because I went for a voiceover gig. So by the time I get to day 10, which is here marked with a little ribbon, this is Lawrence's side, and my last mask isn't even in yet, or second last mask, I just start with day one, two, three, four, five. We don't go out daily, so this is really safe, but even if you're a medical person and you want to recycle your masks. And this is where Lauren starts, and he has 10 of these as well. So I just thought maybe if you can see it, it might be simpler to grasp, but you can use 10 hooks or 10 nails in a plank fixed somewhere against a wall in your house. Every house is different, and um, I hope this is useful. So, if you are a doctor, this one might be useful if you are in a country where masks have run out. Especially if you don't work on the front lines, but are more exposed than the average person. And again, I've provided a link below discussed at the beginning that confirms that a mask can retain viral matter for up to seven days. Now let's look a little bit at washing and spraying with alcohol. This is not recommended by most experts, but I have come across some informed videos that suggest the opposite, especially if you are not entering a highly infected area. However, if there is a shortage for even medical personnel, my opinion is that disinfecting a good quality mask, especially the N95 kind of mask that looks like a surgical mask, as it won't lose its shape, is better than wearing nothing, in particular if you don't work in isolation wards, but in general practice. I will leave a link for you below that describes the process and implications of washing a N95 surgical style mask. I will leave another link of reputable scientists to show that even after disinfecting an N95 mask, you know, the hard gray kind, in a bleach solution of 1% multiple times, droplets are still blocked after reuse. Granted, as caution would indicate, they did not prove conclusively that the virus is stopped, but if droplets are stopped, it could very well mean that the mask remains effective after several washes. When in a critical shortage, this method should be helpful, but opinions may vary and you should investigate the matter for yourself. I will leave you another link below. I hope that this information will be helpful and perhaps keep someone safe who did not have sufficient information before. If you can sew, maybe you can get in touch with your nearest medical facility and ask if they could do with your help. Or perhaps you could contribute to society in another way, such as helping an elderly person stock up or check on your neighbors by phone. During the 2002 floods, we chose not to just stay at home and hunker down, but to use our gifts to help others in some small way. 
I will list the music video for you below that we made during the floods. We even shot some of the footage ourselves. We gave the proceeds from iTunes and other donations to help stray dogs that got stranded during the floods. Listen, try to stay positive and perhaps you want to invest in a mask or two for yourself as we might have to live a little differently for quite some time until a vaccine is found as a lot is still not known about this novel coronavirus. And let's hope that this is all over sooner than we think, and if not, we'll adapt. Keep smiling, and bye for now. And listen, subscribe, share, like, and comment. I'd like to start a conversation. Anyway, again, bye for now. Lawrence, I miss the beach. I really do. I mean, fake seagull shells, it's all good, but... I miss the beach. Little house right on the sand. But hey, I have a little house by the sea. Thanks, Richard and Zen. Look. Isn't that awesome? Way up in the mountains, high up in the sky, runs a tiny fountain, oh, so mighty high. Someone in this world will say, where are you running to? And someone else will say, I'll go along with you. Way down in the valley, where no one ever goes, lives a man, a hermit. He says no one knows his woes. Someone in this world will say, who are you hiding from? Someone else will say, I'll come along. Someone in this world will say, don't stop, you're doing fine. Then one will burst your bubble and say, you just can't go the line. Then somebody Go on and take my hand And in the end I'm sure I'm sure you'll understand Way up there in heaven Where everything is known Someone watches, someone cares We are not alone But still to few can love like this and still we pay a fare mm -hmm. All we are and all we do Is shining everywhere And someone in this world will say But when the love come down And another just might sing about The way we walk the ground Then somebody reaches out and says Go on, take my hand in the end, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll understand. Way up in the mountains, high up in the sky, runs a tiny fountain, oh, so mighty high. Someone in this world will say, where are you running to? Someone else will say I'm